the book of Alpha running me, homie. Read it or weep. What's going on, my Alpha brethren? As you can see, man, I haven't been doing much uploading. Um, as you guys probably heard on the last live stream, man, I am battling the flu still. I am on the tail end of it now, so I'm able to actually put together complete sentences without going into a fit of coughing. Be that as it is, I decided that I would, again, commit to uploading content. The topic for today's upload is monkey branching and how to know when the technique is being used against you. Because as simple as it may seem, if you allow your emotions to guide you in your pursuit of that woman who is attempting to monkey branch toward you, you will view it as a, as a sense of accomplishment on your part as opposed to simply being the one guy who would allow her to monkey branch back into his life. Now, from my experiences, my preference has always been the educated woman who has multiple degrees, business owner, and the commensurate student loan debt. These women tend to have more focus, more energy, and more dedication to the things that they have going on in their lives. So they rarely, if ever, become clingy, rarely, if ever, become demanding of your time, and rarely, if ever, have time to consistently think about being intimate with multiple guys. They're just very busy women. But there are exceptions to the rule, as I always say. Nothing is fail-safe or, or foolproof. Now, what I will say is that the sacrifice that these women make that they're unaware of while they're in the midst of their grind, getting to that point where they've been in school from the time they were four years old or five years old, until the time they are 28, 30, 32 years old. What they have sacrificed is their youth. So once she has accomplished all of these goals and all of these career objectives, she then feels like it is her time to catch up on the things that she didn't do when she was younger. The partying, the dating, the hanging out and doing all of the different things that younger women tend to do. And many are grown out of by the time they're 30, 32 years old. The most rude awakening I've ever seen is when that woman comes to the realization that physically she has lost a lot of years, a lot of youth, a lot of the anti-gravity agent that younger women tend to have in place. Now, does that mean they all look bad? No, I'm not saying they all look bad. Some of them actually look pretty good with their clothes on. But what will happen is, so you have to understand when a woman is grinding that way on her education and her business, she does not have time to go to the gym regularly. I will give women one thing. When it comes to grinding for a cause, it's hard to find anyone who can beat a woman who's grinding for a cause, who's on a mission, who has a plan. But they sacrifice their health, they sacrifice their youth, they sacrifice their sleep, they sacrifice their nutrition in order to chase the bag. And once the bag is attained, in her mind, she's still young because she doesn't have many miles on her as far as the partying and clubbing and oversexing of her body goes. But gravity cares nothing about that. Gravity is waiting to meet a woman when she gets a certain age. It is there. Now, the way she takes care of herself prior to that time can give her a better hand to possibly stave off the effects of gravity but it is coming regardless. Now the woman who has not done anything to take care of her body, 
gravity has pulled one over on her quickly. Coming to grips with that is the toughest thing because the only way she comes into grips with that is by dealing with men that she thinks she should be able to get. Only to realize that when they see the true package, it is not something they want. Sometimes men like me are instantly turned off. Total change of demeanor when we get a chance to witness the exposed package. Now, there are many situations where a man can bypass that, totally overlook it, go right ahead with it, and be involved with her. But even that man will make her a temporary fix to a desire issue that he has at any particular time. But this is, not the, this, this is not what this woman wants. She is a successful woman. She's grinded hard. She has a nice home. She has a nice car. You know, she has all kinds of trinkets and, and, and trinkets that have, you know, costed her a small fortune all around her home, everywhere. She has a closet full of clothes and is constantly ordering more. But that does no good for the package because once you unwrap the package, the package is what it is. Once the shiny ribbon and the big shiny bowl come off and the box is open, if there is only a pair of socks in there, there is only a pair of socks in there. And this will lead these women sometimes into maneuvering around from man to man finding, knowing that that man is out there who sees what she sees. You see, the thing about we're looking at yourself, you never truly, truly see yourself through the eyes of someone else because you see yourself every day. There are certain aspects of your body that are just normal to you. If you're gaining weight in your mind, you're not gaining a lot of weight because you're gaining weight in small increments. And someone who hasn't seen you in a year and they see you a year later and you gain 50 pounds, you've ballooned in their eyes. But in your mind, you haven't gained much weight at all. And that is where these women tend to fall short when it comes to realizing the true value of their physicality. There is no man who is successful who is going to Consider that woman for anything more than a quick flash in the pan, a quick jump off. And there are some men who won't even consider her that thin. Because by that point, about half of them also have a child. And that wreaks even more havoc on her physicality. So when you see these women and you wonder why they are dressing themselves up and accessorizing themselves and pretty much buying everything they can to put layer upon layer on top of their natural essence. It is because they have gotten to the point where they realize what it is. Someone has pointed it out. And now that they've, now that they've been put on blast about it and they realize that it's there, oh my God, they're embarrassed. They want to cover it up. They don't even want a man to see them naked with the light on. So you have to make what you have to make sure is that if you were the man who was with that woman while she was grinding up like that. And for whatever reason, she decides that now it's time for her to not be in a relationship anymore. You must make sure that you do not leave long branches on your tree. Trim them, trim them close to the body of the tree so that there will be no monkey branching back to you once the realization comes that you were the best that she could hope for. Because whatever she thought was better, it's simply not going to be better for her. As I think about some scenarios that I've seen like that, man, I've seen many women monkey branch right back to a man. And the thing is, Many of the men that she had dealt with while she was out there trying to sow her royal oats were not even up to snuff, not even up to the same level 
as the guy she, she felt like she had worn of, the guy she felt like she had got tired of, the guy she is keeping in her back pocket and so she can attempt to monkey branch back to him. Like this video on your way out if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. When you subscribe, click that notification bell. Make sure your notifications are on so you can be alerted to whenever I upload some more of this top-notch boss game. And as always, alpha's up, beta's down. Peace.